Alright guys, so today I wanted to show you my first day in Nightingale. I hope you'll enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's, let's do it. It's time. Okay, so this character customization is in depth. There's some serious options here. You can do the lineage and pick, I guess, parents. Uh, you've got a story for the hermit, the officer, the near do well okay head forehead i'm not gonna get too in depth on this so i went with the hermit some eye customization there i, I think i want the lamb chops yes okay guys already before time itself the Ooh. realms have existed okay here we go here we go so this is our first time ah, stepping into nightingale let my word very excited. Steal Let's try it out, guys. Step. How now, fleshling? With a wonder you lost in our Feywilds. I'm lost in the Feywilds, you guys. Take these bloodstained cards, play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fey and fleshling. Oh, he's awesome. Very cool character. Venture into the forest byway realm. Okay. Oh, I see. Open the realm card machine. All right, we've got a biome card for a forest and a byway card for the realm. Opening a portal. Fly, realm walker. Yes. The fiends have caught you. Oh, shit. Okay. Extent. There was scary shit coming from behind me, dude. So I'm getting pretty steady frames. We're holding right around 55. We'll see what it's like if we get into some action. Wow, guys, look at that. I mean, the sky looks just remarkable. Oh, those are pretty. We got dragonflies and the water. Now, I haven't been outside in a long time, but that water looks pretty, real pretty realistic, you know? You leave footprints in the sand. You look down, you can see your legs. This is cool. This is good. Very immersive. Why, hello. Oh. Huh? Yes, you can use third person. God, it looks good. I mean, look at the grass and... I mean, just... Just... Wow. I mean, it's... It's really good. It also runs smoothly. It's not as demanding while doing this okay we're making three healing salves this is all very self-explanatory and user-friendly and quick i'm uh, i'm liking that oh and it's it's cra is it crafting even if you walk away from it i think so back off man whoa whoa we got vicious dinosaur rabbits oh my god ah Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, God. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I put him down. This card uh, to seek a realm of minimal danger suitable for the construction of an estate. Not even Nightingale's oldest magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image imprinted upon the paper brings intense loneliness and loneliness to the mind. Uh, yes. Lord knows I could use some more loneliness. Let's, let's do that. Oh, shit. You want to go, bro? Oh. Okay, this is cool. We got little goblins. Through the portal. All right, through the portal. Realm Walker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Oh. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. Very nice, very nice. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at the color of the water. That's pretty remarkable. Looks pretty good. It's Unreal Engine 5. You can really see the difference in the poly count. 
Man, games are about to get so fucking crazy, you guys. It's gonna be, I mean, true VR is upon us. We're very close. We're as close as we've ever been to, like, completely photorealistic environments and characters in games. If Marky was playing, you'd be sleeping right now. Hey, hey. I'm enjoying the rings around the planet and the the beautiful night sky. Look at all these planets. Do you ever look up this look up at the stars and wonder what it all means? Marky would 100% have put me in bed by now. Yeah, it really just looks so immaculate. Like just take a second and look at the water. It's the subtle details. Like if you max this shit out on a computer that can handle it, it's going to look incredible. Incredible, man. We're knocking it out of the park. Wow, well we look at that. Whether the gameplay loop and the mechanics will hold up, we shall see. Three hours of gameplay, what are my overall thoughts? Unreal Engine 5 is fucking amazing. Um, that's my first thing. The game itself seems like it has a ton of potential. It's really pretty. It plays like most survival crafting games that I've played. It's very familiar. Overall, I'm pretty much happy with what I'm seeing. God dang, it's just like, see the, okay, you guys see the lighting coming up through the trees. It's catching all that red reflecting off of the water over there on the other side. I'm geeking hard. This game's gonna be cool. So guys, so far I'm really happy with Nightingale. It seems like this game has a lot of potential. It's in a really good state from the amount that I've played, which is just the beginning of the game up to item level 20 here. Unreal Engine 5 is just a remarkable engine. I'm excited to be in a game that is utilizing it for the first time, and they are definitely taking advantage of the features, which is making me very happy. But uh, I'm very eager to get deeper into the game. I'll be playing this all week and uh, seeing what it really has to offer on a deeper level. Very excited about the portals, the potential for multiplayer while still allowing people to have their own base. Yeah, overall, definitely excited about Nightingale.